What's up guys? It's been a while since I made a video and I was trying to think of something to do and I've been trying for a while now to make a key card reader. Basically what I have set up here is uh, you throw in your key card, it'll give it back and the door will open. Then if we come inside, the door will close, we can grab our really cool stuff here and then we can be on our way. Now if we just throw any old piece of paper into the key card reader, it'll do nothing. Uh, that's because the key card itself is named 0198733. It's just a random string of characters and you could be whatever you want it to be. Think of it kind of as a password in a way. Uh, one thing to note that just anything named 0198733 won't go through there. It has to be whatever you decide your key item to be, in this case a piece of paper obviously, with whatever your name is. So as for how this thing works, it's fairly small as you can see, well I mean kind of. Uh, over here I have that stripped down with all the unnecessary blocks gone. Uh, and then over here, this is the actual key card reader itself. Uh, you can see it's actually quite small, and I've not really seen one that was this size. You can see that over half of what I have over there is actually to, for the door itself, and that I didn't put a whole lot of thought into. This is just a RS NOR latch for, you know, with a pressure plate to close the door once it's opened by the key card reader. But, uh, I mean, you can probably see... Or, okay, so how this thing works is... Basically, when you put the key card in, it'll be able to, uh, if it only if it has the correct name and it's the correct item type, then it'll be able to flow into this hopper here, which will give it this comparator one extra, you know, one block's worth of strength more, because it's one block away from being there, which will then power all of this, and then it'll make this thing, or it'll make this one flow into here which will also drain the other key card out of this one and it'll give you another one back may not be exactly the most efficient way to do this but it's a lot smaller of a design than others that I've seen uh, you can probably see how to build this just by looking at it but uh, for any of you who are interested in the tutorial of it we'll start that right now all right so to build this thing, we're going to start by placing a row of three blocks like this. Then we're going to go up across the back like so. And then you're going to have two blocks come out from there. We're going to have two blocks go over like that. Two in front and one right there. Now we're going to start by placing a comparator here. It's going to flow down into your first repeater which is then going to go down here and go into our second repeater. Now for the torches, they're going to be here, here, oops, not there, here, and here. And then from there, we're going to uh, place a hopper facing this way into that block there. And then we're going to place the other one facing this way. Now all we gotta do is uh, place our, oops, don't want it like that. Ah, place our output there, and our, er, yeah, our output there and our input here. Now, to fill this thing, we're going to uh, fill a hopper that's above this redstone torch with just completely fill it with full stacks of 64 of whatever your key item is. Uh, and then in this one, you're going to fill it with each block being a stack of five, and then the last one being a stack of two. Now, provided we did everything correctly, should be just enough so that way when we place one more of our key item in there, it'll spit another one back out at us, and then we can get a redstone pulse from down here to rig to whatever you need it to do. That's all I've got, but uh, if you like this video, a like would be very much appreciated, and if you'd like more content like this, 
subscribing would be even more appreciated. Thanks for watching. That's all. Bye.